So this is the RAM truck that they showcased, the concept of the RAM, you know, revolution or the EV RAM truck, you know, R E V revolution RAM. But anyway, um, so RAM showcased this truck as their concept, which we knew this wasn't going to be the actual one, but literally they took and they took nothing from this concept, nothing at all. Maybe the rims, but overall design of the truck from the concept to the production version is like night and day. Kind of reminds me of Subaru, how Subaru likes to pull the rug underneath us with those beautiful looking concepts. And then we get a piece of shit looking car. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's go ahead and check out Z Gram Revolution. So this was... The promise, and this is the delivery. Promise, delivery, promise, d d d d d d delivery. Now, as you can see, this is the production version of the Ram <laughs> EV, and it looks just like a regular Ram. There's literally nothing special about this vehicle when it comes to design-wise, besides this mirrored finish right here. I don't know why I said mirrored finish. Maybe because it looks like a, there's a nice reflection there. And it looks nice. Um, but anyway, other than that, there's really nothing there. It's just, I mean, this one had the uh, the curves is what I want to call it. It's got that nice, but, you know, this is what we got. This is it. I mean, even if we're going by the style and the just, it looks just similar to the 2023. Literally, like, the only thing in this truck, it's it, it's it's got a battery. That's it. That's it. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Kind of like the um, F-150 Lightning. Like, there's nothing special about the F-150 Lightning besides... um. Besides, it's just electrified. That's it. It's just the F-150. And for some reason, it will not let me go across these pictures. It will not. It refuse. <laughs> there we go. I can, I can go on right here. But it's kind of disappointing to me, you know. I think it's um they could have done something with it, or at least the way that the car... Well, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying car. The way that the truck sits, I think they should have made it a little bit closer to what the what the uh, what the concept looked like. But they did nothing. L literally nothing. All they did was just take a Ram truck, put some battery in it, and give it a little bit of technology. But that's it. But even like some of the stuff that they were talking about, um, for the features of the uh, the truck, like from that video we saw where the truck can actually follow you and it has like all these different features, I wonder if that's going to be implemented on this particular truck. Um, but they promised a lot of things in that video. But you know, it is what it is. This is exactly the same playbook that Ford did. They just took an F-150, put in some battery, put in some motors, and then put them out there. And there you go. That's it. So Ram is following the same trend, I guess. But anyway, <clears throat> Ram has previously said the pickup will be built on the new truck-focused STLA frame platform that is made specifically for body-on-frame EVs. It promises to offer more than 500 miles. Of all electric range, which is if true, will surpass most of its competitor. The automaker has claimed that it will be able to add up to 100 miles of range in 10 minutes with 800 volt DC fast charging, charging it up to 350 kilowatts. Now that's that's a huge plus because there's cert there's still certain EV vehicles that can't charge up to that 350 watt, and I'm happy <laughs> I got me a vehicle that can charge up to 150 kilowatt because it comes in really handy um even when it's cold i'll still get like 
75 kilowatt in the right? 75 kilowatt you know max but sometimes like once the battery gets heated up a little bit it'll go up to like 90 but that's that's it it doesn't get any higher than that when it's cold especially when you're trying to charge and get the hell out of there and then you also well for my vehicle um i cannot run the ac while i'm charging otherwise it would make a loud sound and it would just take longer for me i would rather just you know just freeze for a little bit longer until i can just uh, just finish charging and get the hell out of there <sighs> but the fact that it does have 350 that's huge um i don't know how big the battery is gonna be um we'll we'll see we'll see especially with trucks as an ev these trucks are not made to be your toy haulers or anything like that they can't even be your work truck because work truck has to be dependable now when you have to get these trucks then you have to you know park it and charge it you know you're wasting time you're wasting money you know especially if you're in the construction business this would be the most terrible investment that you can make because if you have to charge them consistently uh, comparing to a diesel truck or even a gasoline truck where you can just you know pump gas takes less than five minutes and then you're good to go back to business back to making money back to profiting etc etc but these trucks they're not made for that even if you get yourself the um the hummer ev which has a ridiculously big battery so what does that tell you that tells you that it's going to take a really long time when you are depleted even if you are on a fast charging it's still going to take a few hours max to charge that thing from you know i want to say from like 10 percent to 80 percent it's going to take a really long time so yeah that's one thing i am curious to see um what the size of the battery that it comes up with to be able to get 500 miles and also um are they going to be including the charging for at least a few years um that's something that has yes to you know we haven't we don't know um but i'm curious uh, i can't wait to see it now the only thing that we i think this is the interior again looks just like a damn ram but i do see an additional screen for the passenger i don't know if this is this is it oh hold on a second here we go or unless this is a different one let me see here for some reason it refuses to go it refuses to go so if this is the interior <sighs> Just looks like a 2023 TRX interior, or at least similar to it. Yeah, this is kind of disappointing, super disappointing. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sure they have plenty of RAM, you know, shells around. So they're like, you know what? Screw that. Screw the concept. Let's just go ahead and stuff in some EV motors and some batteries and we're good to go. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the uh, of the design of the Ram EV or the Revolution. I don't know if you would even call it a Revolution. More like just a big letdown design-wise. But we'll see. The, even the title... Production 2024 Ram 1500 Revolution or E R E V <laughs> uh, electric truck unveiled lacks concepts drama. Yep, it sure does. It looks just like a regular duckling Ram. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am done with my rambling, and I will see you in the next one.